Oh, yes, a multifaceted, oh, many headed edition. What? <laughs> Extra time for you. Uh, we have Raph Honig's going. Raph Honig's going, Bradley Wright Phillips. It's esoteric me. You know, actually, we're yeah. going to turn the page. Oh, no, 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 no. Esoteric me. Yeah, definitions. Let's get to that first. It just means a deviation from the norm, something a little unique. Something oh, well, little, uh, well, we'll settle for that. Use the sentence. Extraordinary. Yeah, yeah, we'll Spell it. That. Yeah. The esoteric Raph Honigstein would like Whoa, to make another he? point oh, well. that he oh. wasn't able to make. I've in heard the Raph show. described as many a thing. <laughs> in the show, uh, Raph, um, <laughs> you, you're a little bit shortchanged towards the end of our Pelé uh, Messi discussion. Oh. Oh, I know you wanted to add something, oh, so here's yeah. your chance. No, I just think, look, Pelé owes his reputation for being a symbol. He's a symbol of those amazing Brazilian teams who won the World Cup. He's a symbol of beautiful football, of Jogo Benito. He captured the imagination of, of generations who weren't watching lots of football. They would watch football every four years. They saw the best player in the world. And like we all had in, in 86, Maradona, he became an icon. Is that to say that he was the best player ever? He was, but he's no longer because Messi has surpassed him in any measurable sense. The fact that we see him often, I think, have, has blunted us to the brilliance. But the fact that he's scoring more goals and doing better shouldn't be counted against him. You know, it's it's a ridiculous argument to, to say, well, he scored 600 goals for Brazil, for Barcelona, he's only scored six for Argentina in the World Cup. That's not the criteria. The criteria mm. is what has a guy done over the course of his career. And I, I promise you, no one in our lifetime will become close to what Messi has done no. in terms of the beauty, in terms of the technique, in terms of the numbers and the overall brilliance that this guy has shown every single week on the pitch. Mm. What, a couple of things. I think a couple of things. Raf already killed all of us, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> in our lifetime, hold on a second, I want to hang around for a while. He did it esoterically. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah. Uh, secondly, he hates Pele. Oh, yeah. We yeah, established that, that. We established that. And I don't hate Pele. And <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> there he is. You know we're black uh, and there white. There he is. <laughs> you know we're extremes, Raph. We're black and white. Yeah. Yeah. And, by the way, esoteric. Intended for or likely to be understood by only a small number of people with specialized <laughs> Knowledge or interest. Well, I, that's not the definition that's, yeah, you that's gave. That's not what you told us. That's, that's not, not what you said. Yeah, more or less. A little bit. More or less it was. Uh, going back to Messi's free kick, uh, oh. Tekkers uh, obviously saw the reaction from Lineker and Ferdinand. The whole world has seen it. He wants to know, Shaka, what was your reaction when Messi oh, I was, scored I was, that free I was kick? I watched that game um, yesterday with my little man at home. Yeah. And we were Did he jump up and down? Oh, yeah. yeah. We, were, well, we both did, to be fair. I mean, to, to that... that that I thought his special. reaction would have been, Dad, you would have saved that. Didn't he say no, that? that? What? Well, no, he knows better. <laughs> yeah, my, he my, knows my, better. My, he's my he's, son is not a fan he's seen of me. Play. <laughs> I'm, I can assure you of that. <laughs> no. Brad, but, uh, Brad, bring you in on this. Did you, what, what was your reaction to, yeah. to Messi's free kick? Just hand over my mouth, just in shock. Because he's <laughs> one of those guys that you, you know that he's capable of it, but when he does it, it still surprises you. that. What else can he do? <laughs> what more can you do to, to surprise me? It was one of those reactions that's like, this guy. Yeah. Like I said, I don't know what planet this guy's from. I'll yeah. tell you what was surprising, that Shaq actually watched it. <laughs> you know, <laughs> odd son, he was going to be sleeping or napping. That's nap was, time for Shaq. What, 4.20 <laughs> in the afternoon yeah. on the uh, not his sweet spot? The only hey. reason he watched it was his little boy was it? Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm telling you. I'm not, uh, I'm not sure how I feel about this line of questioning. <laughs> Brad, uh, Jamal has uh, made a prediction for the second leg. I want to get your reaction to it. He simply says, Liverpool 5, Barcelona 3. Remember this tweet. So, Jamal who, thinks Liverpool... Who, made that, who made that prediction? Uh, just one of our viewers, Jamal. Who made that Jamal. prediction? Some guy named Jamal. Jamal. I don't know, Jamal. I don't know, my friend. That's, that's a bit wild. <laughs> <laughs> they have Messi. It, so, so, so hold on a second. I have so to, I have to ask Barcelona a question. Going through. Yeah, it goes five three. Barcelona yeah, go through. Barcelona well, no, he through. well he's saying presumably oh. that's the aggregate score. He thinks Liverpool are going to win five nothing. Well, Jamal's got to explain to his five, case three. better. Than, yeah. than no, because there'd be no yeah. point for that tweet. No. If he was saying five three, he's saying oh, well, Barcelona <laughs> are going through. He Jamal, thinks. Tell Jamal if he wants us to remember one of his tweets. 
Let it make sense. Yeah. <laughs> Send a tweet that makes sense, Jamal. <laughs> because we're not, remember your tweet. We're not the smartest on this show. Jamal, so. maybe you have an well, ally. I'm not the smartest on this show. <laughs> maybe, Jamal, maybe Jamal has an ally in RAF. I know you're uh, a, a big admirer of Jurgen Klopp and his ways of operating. Can, he, can Liverpool come back? It's very hard to see. I think 3-0... I don't see really a realistic way of coming back. I mean, look, football makes a mockery of all of us because you can analyze this game and you will not end up with a 3-0 result. But that's what happened. So on that basis, you know, the, the, the madness, the chaos might happen a second time, this time going the other way. But I mean, Barcelona would have to have the kind of night that they had at Roma last mm. year where they kind of sleepwalked into this defeat, just thinking they are through somehow. But I just can't see that happening because I think they will take Liverpool so much more seriously than they did Roma on the night. And they only really need that one goal. So mm. I think it's I think it's all over for Liverpool. Moving to the Europa League at Raff and, and moving to Eintracht Frankfurt. Jim wants to know uh, what team you think has the best chance to sign at Jovic uh, in the summer. Oh, this is an interesting one because Frankfurt are quite honest and open about this. They say, look, the guy is 21. If a big offer comes in, um, we might be able to turn it down, but we can't really stop this guy from trebling or maybe quadrupling his wages. It's not realistic. So if someone puts the money on the table, I think we're talking about 60, 70 million euros minimum for a guy who's one of the outstanding talents of his age group in terms of the goal scoring uh, prowess, then they can have him. And I think right now it's between the Spanish clubs I think Real Madrid and Barcelona are both interested for different reasons, if you will. I think Bayern are thinking about it. And I think there are one or two Premier League clubs as well. The question is, can Chelsea, for example, sign them? Because they don't even know what works, what's going to happen with their FIFA potential Ben. But there is big interest. And I think it's a 99% chance that he will leave in the summer. Mm, some player indeed. Another good goal for him today against uh, Chelsea. Shaka, final question for you. Kepa. In goal for Chelsea, he's played almost every game this season. As a goalie yourself, do you think that this type of workload can make your reflexes slower in the final game of, the, of the season? Come as, on, as, man. As, I've, as I've said many times on this show, <laughs> what? goalkeepers are the hardest workers oh, what? on the pitch. Stop it. Don't and the training ground. What? Right, cut we his mic off. finely <laughs> honed athletes. <laughs> Come on. And we can take the grind of a long season, <laughs> better than anybody else. All you do else. is stand in the goal, that's better all than you anybody do. Else yeah, you don't do, you don't do anything. You don't do anything. You're right, Brad. Listen. <laughs> you can Brad still play now, Shaka. You can still play. You just stand in front of the goal, <laughs> balls bounce off your knees, <laughs> and you call that a career. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I pretend to run about a bit. You stay in the box and just catch footballs. Very true. He's right. Hard wood. He's right. <laughs> slow down. Slow down your reflexes at the end of the season. I mean, up. honestly. How, okay. quick, how quick were they to begin yeah. with, is what you're saying. Yeah. Have yeah. you ever got cramp in the goals? No, exactly. No, well, as the, I continue to explain uh, to you. Kepa has. Because you don't do it. Kepa has. He's been he cramping. Got a, he got a cramp in the studio once, didn't you? I seem mm. to remember that. Well, slightly different. Oh, in South Africa. <laughs> that was in South yeah. Africa, yeah. I'm not sure anybody would describe me as a finely honed athlete <laughs> at this point. <laughs> no. The answer is no. <laughs> All right. Uh, Nobody would. Thanks. Good. Not even me. <laughs> He's a very good sleeper, though. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> World class. World class. And the Olympic Next level. <laughs> and the Olympic He's the goal uh, to uh, sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> he is the goal. <laughs> Thanks to Bradley and to Raf uh, and to all of you for your questions. ESPN FC uh, back tomorrow with a, uh, a weekend preview. <laughs>